Hi guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today's um, Tuesday, March the 22nd of 2016. I am uh, less than 24 hours away from the first half of my spinal fusion. Um, I got the call today. My fusion actually got bumped up. I wasn't supposed to be um, on the schedule until 1230 arrival, but now I'm a a 1030 arrival so um, that's a good thing uh, I should be going into surgery uh, sometime between 12 and 1230 um, I am much happier with that number one it's less time that I have to go with nothing by mouth tomorrow um, it's less time to be anxious and nervous and everything else but surprisingly I have been quite calm today I'm not sure uh, well, yeah, I kind of know why. Um, Sunday, I went to see a movie with my mom. We went to see Miracles from Heaven Heaven, uh, with Jennifer Garner. Really wonderful movie. Probably my sec. well, it's probably my favorite movie I've ever seen. I'm not a movie buff, though, so don't, you know, go by that. But if you're a faith-based person or a Christian... I really encourage you to go see this movie. Um, I knew within the first 10 minutes why I was there. I was there because I needed to be there. I had asked God that morning for a sign that I was making the right decision about this surgery. Um, I have gone back and forth a thousand times in my head about am I doing the right thing. Um, and I just, I, I stood in my mom's shower Sunday morning and I just said, I need a sign. I need to know that this is the right path. And uh, that movie was the sign. Um, it is all about keeping your faith through the tough times and knowing that, um, you know, good will be done. And I, you know, I know that I've been guided to this surgeon at this time for this reason. And uh, so I've, I I don't know. Ever since Sunday, I've just kind of been calm about this. It hasn't really been as scary to me. So, I mean, I'm nervous about the pain because I know that that's going to be miserable. I am not looking forward to not getting to see my kids for so long. Um, I won't see them. I'll see them tomorrow morning, and then I probably won't see them again until Saturday evening or Saturday night, which is a long time for me, especially with two surgeries in between. So uh, this morning, yesterday I did all of my last-minute shopping that I needed to do, uh, and I had to run Zeke to the doctor. He's got an ear infection and a sinus infection, and... Um, this morning I had to run to the bank and um, do a few things like that and uh, then I had to be home so that I could do my my bowel cleanse before noon um, I had to drink a bottle of magnesium citrate and um, people are gonna want to know so I'll let me just tell you about what that was like um, it's a 10 ounce bottle a liquid that you drink nothing horribly disgusting by any means um, it's really the aftertaste that kind of gets you. I um, I chose to get the grape flavor. I think it also comes in like citrus or lemon, something like that. Um, I got the grape, which I think was probably a good call for me. It tasted a lot like a sour grape Kool-Aid, but the aftertaste is like a salty sour grape Kool-Aid. So the saltiness is what's kind of gross, and it's a little bit carbonated, so you belch it. So it's the belching aftertaste that it's just like you go ahead and go, oh my God, really? Um, I, um, I drank it within probably... 20 to 30 minutes and um, for about five minutes after I had my last drink of it um, I was kind of nauseated and I don't know if it was because I have of drinking that stuff or if it was uh, because I was just kind of I, I don't know if I just kind of got a nervous stomach all of a sudden or what but when I get nervous or when I get anxious my stomach gets all jacked up so um, it could have been a combination of things um, so, you know, you drink it and then that's really all you do. I'm on clear liquids or not clear, full liquids now until midnight tonight. And then I can't have anything after midnight. Um, 
you know, I'm not hungry at all right now. And really, I can't say that I've had like a bowel clean out. Um, my stomach is really rumbly. Like I know it's coming in at some point and it's probably going to come in the middle of the night because that'll just be my luck. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I had to do it and, you know, I've had to do worse things, you know. The gastrograph and you drink after you have a weight loss surgery is far, far, far worse than um, than anything <laughs> than the magnesium citrate is. Um, I would, uh, I'd redo mag citrate any day over that stuff. So, uh, so, you know, I made it through that. It's fine. Um, I've been drinking on coffee and water and chewing ice and, um, you know, tonight when it gets to be dinner time and the kids get home and are eating and, um, I'm sure like it'll be, it's just such a habit to eat with them that I'll probably heat up some broth or something to eat with them and, uh, that's it. So, um, basically I'm on the downslide now to the prep work. Uh, I have my nursing home bag packed because I will be going to a nursing home in between my surgeries, which is hilarious to me. Uh, yes, I'm 36 and I'm going to be checking into a nursing home tomorrow. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, I am definitely, I think that's the most apprehensive part to me is that I will be, um, the transporting, you know, having surgery and then getting in a van and be transported a couple miles and then getting in a van again on Friday and coming back and then getting in a van Friday night and going back to the nursing home. It's just kind of, I'm, I'm definitely apprehensive about how that's going to work out, but hopefully my pain will be pretty well managed and, um, you know, we'll go from there. Um, so I think I have everything else ready to go as much as I can. Like I said before, I delivered a bunch of stuff to my mom and dad's over the weekend. That gave me an opportunity to see what was I missing, um, and, uh, kind of just evaluate with my mom what other things could we think of that may be things that we want to have on hand. Um, you know, I'm used to traveling just for short visits with them, and I took the the typical stuff over the weekend that we use and um, realized that, like, wow, I, like, have no baby shampoo, and I have no um, baby soap, and so I had to go, and I needed to buy, you know, shower stuff for them to have there, and, and um, I actually just ended up picking up some new bath toys for them because I feel like... Um, this is going to be a hard transition, especially for my son. So if we can have a few fun things for them um, as we get into the transition, that's going to help a lot. Um, so, you know, there was a few things like that that uh, we thought about or got added to the list. And um, a few things that I had had, in, had intended on packing and forgotten. Uh, my brain was really foggy last week. I was not feeling well. Um, the nerves were kind of there and I was so still in that really apprehensive mode and all that stuff. So, um, today my brain feels much clearer. I, I spent the, the morning, um, doing whatever, a little bit of running and then, um, you know, I've spent the afternoon, the rest of the day getting stuff organized and packed. I have, you know, my, my kids medical card ready for my mom and a note for her to take if she needs to take them to the doctor. Um, I have a list of all their medicines printed out for, um, for her to have on hand right in front of her. Um, you know, I have a list of everything that, um, we can't pack until they're ready to go. Like the, uh, the baby Brezza that you guys have probably heard me talk about. We use for formula making. It's basically like a baby Keurig machine. It heats water and mixes the water and the formula together to make a, um, perfect bottle. It's the greatest gift I've ever been given in my life. It's so nice to push a button and, you know, warm formula gets made and there's no mixing and there's no measuring. You just tell it what size you want. No, it's wonderful. Um, so, you know, I've, I've just been organized today. Um, I have a grocery list made for my husband to go tonight and pick up whatever few little groceries I think that they're going to need to get them through the rest of the end of this week. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm as good as it gets. So bring it on. Bring on surgery. I'm ready. 
I am looking forward to the day that I get to wake up and tell my son that I have no pain today and um, mean it and not have him call my bluff. He has basically all he can ever remember of me is me not feeling well and, you know, having back pain. So uh, it is definitely time to get my life back. I can't wait for the day when I can start to um, re-add physical fitness into my life. And um, though I won't be a runner anymore, I am looking forward to just being able to walk and uh, walk without pain. Um, you know, my body is so far from where I want it to be. And I am so miserable right now. Um, I've, I've never been this, I don't think I've ever been this uncomfortable. Even when I was 426 pounds, I don't think I was this uncomfortable. Um, it, the pain just, it's nonstop all the time. And I have just, um, I've just reached my end with it. That's the way to say it. I've reached the end of what I can tolerate. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really look, there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to the next uh, 14 days or 20, 14 to 20 days is going to probably be really spectacular, and you guys may not see much of me during that time if I'm not feeling well but um, you know hold steady I will come back I will come back to you I will um, do videos again and and um, as I feel well enough to, I will, of course, do updates. So um, I just, I want to thank everybody now who has been sending me well wishes and praying for me. And it just means the world to me um, to have so many people be so supportive of something that, um, you know, really you all have no involvement with. You don't have to be supportive, but I totally um, appreciate the prayers and all of the love that I've been getting. Um before I go, the last thing I want to say um, is about Plexus. I am still doing Plexus, and I'm still feeling, uh, you know, better on Plexus. Uh, I'm ready to get to experience Plexus from a healthy side rather than, like, I'm just struggling to stay above water side. I've gotten lots of emails over the last month and a half about Plexus and people curious about what it's doing for me. And I know I've talked about it over and over and over again and I've mentioned it over and over on Facebook and a plethora of different things. Um, I am a believer in this product and um, I should say these products because there's some really great ones. Um, and I wanted to share with everybody before I go that um, now through April the 15th, you can get 15% off any of your orders. So if you want to sign up as an ambassador, you will get 15% off of that. Um, if you want to just become a customer, you get 15% off whatever you choose to order, whether it be a trial pack or um, a full month supply of like Triplex or whatever it is. So I'm going to include my website uh, where you can order from in the drop down. Um, so if you, um, you know, if you're on the fence and this is what it takes to kind of get you over that, um, I, I encourage you to go to the website and place an order. If you want to become an ambassador, you need to email me because that is a kind of a different process. Um, and I can talk more to you one-on-one -on -one about it and I will get back to you before the 15th, I promise. So, um, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I'm out of here. The next time y'all see me, I will have a new spine. And I'm very excited to, um, to get rid of this nerve pain. It is truly so debilitating. I can't say that enough. People just underestimate what back pain is. But true back pain with um, nerve damage is awful. Um, it's nonstop. I have weakness and I can't wait. I can't wait. It's just, it's going to be so good. So um, until the flip side, y'all take care of yourselves. Mwah! I'll see you later.